Now, Sports Central, presented by Table Mountain Casino. Saturday night at Bulldog Stadium, it'll be an interesting matchup. The explosive run-and-shoot offense of Hawaii going up against a Fresno State defense that, according to the numbers, is one of the nation's best. The Dogs actually lead the country in three defensive categories, including scoring defense, where they're allowing only 12.6 points per game overall and only 4.3 points per game in their three conference games. And they're doing this all under first-year defensive coordinator Burt Watts. Watts says it's a collective effort, something that was put into place by last year's D.C. Orlando Steinauer. You know, O did a great job of allowing all of us to be part of this defense and, and contribute so that we all had ownership. And I've you know, done my best to try to continue that motto of making sure everybody, even the players, have, have a piece of this defense and have ownership uh, because that investment leads to caring that much more about it and wanting to make sure that, that we're, we're doing things the right way every day. Kickoff Saturday versus Hawaii set for 7.30. The Dogs D will be looking to shut down a Rainbow Warriors offense that features quarterback Cole McDonald, the conference's passing leader, and a staple of really good receivers. Well, you won't have to wait till Saturday, though, to watch some great football here in the Valley. Friday night will offer the last Friday of the high school regular season, which means rivalry football all over the Valley. The headliner is in Tulare, where 9-0 Tulare Union will battle 9-0 Tulare Western at Bob Mathias Stadium. The excitement for this one has been building all week. There's dress up days all through the week. That's fun. You just see how everybody dresses up. And then on Friday when it's time for the game, you just see the stadium filled. There's people outside the stadium just standing and waiting to watch the game. It's crazy. It's more for the kids. They really get excited. To me, it's actually more nerve-wracking because you're 9-0, and they're, and they're really good. They're the best team we've played so far this year, and I'm sure it's the same way, vice versa, for them. The league title will be at stake, and there's a good chance this might be a preview of the Division II Valley Championship game as well, with the winner likely getting the number one seed. Another accolade has come Adrian Martinez's 